we just pushed out beta 20 of Statimic version three, and I wanted to highlight some of the new features and show you how they work. And so let's just get right into it. Uh, the first would be uh, a major change in how structures are structured. Uh, before we had a structured section, you could create one. Uh, it could be used for different things like a navigation, or you could connect it to us to one or more collections. And it was, it was actually kind of confusing. It ended up uh, <laughs> creating more problems than it solved. So now you can have a collection that is structured. So if you go to a collection here and you just configure it and you turn orderable on, as long as you haven't set a max depth of one, you now have a orderable, structurable collection. So when you're in that collection, you'll be here and you can rearrange the entries in it, save them, discard the changes, and do all of that kind of thing. If you wanna use, use the same table-based layout that you're used to, you can just toggle that over and you've got that right here. Little preview of something we're gonna look at soon, filters. Uh, also, now we have this new navigation section with a nice new uh, empty state where you can create a new uh, navigation, call it like main nav. And then if you want to, you can tell it to use like the pages collection, maybe the diary collection and set a max depth of one. Maybe you know you don't wanna have, maybe two, you only wanna have like two levels deep. So you can save that, go back to your nav and then start linking to URLs. So you could have, uh, let's see, pick like the home page. And then you could have a link to like login, which would be, you know, custom app dot something dot app. You know, you could have a uh, you know, link to another entry, which would be, let's see, like, but there was a contact, yeah, contact page in there. And maybe you want that down here and hit save changes. Boom. So you could do that and make all the navigations you want. Uh, next, let's go back to collections and look at the new filters. These are pretty awesome. So in addition to all of the features we had before, if we did have filters, they were kind of slid out and they were a little bit hard to use. Now we have a couple of different types. So we have pinnable filters, which is something, uh, if you create a custom filter and you set the pinnable attribute, it can um, mount itself right here in line with the search bar. And now you can see like um, status, is available right here. You can clear them. You can come over here and filter by field, blueprint, custom filters would show up here. So maybe you wanted to show, uh, let's see, everything that contains Weird Al, and then everything that is scheduled in the future. And then you can save this filter and say, uh, upcoming Weird Al stuff. And anytime you wanna see what is uh, upcoming in your Weird Al stuff, you can just do this. You can also update uh, your filter here or delete it. So if you wanted to uh, remove this and remove that, um, you can always reset back to the current state or you can trash right there. Uh, we also have uh, nice new bulk actions. And so you could unpublish everything, publish everything on one shot. So let's just like unpublish a couple things like that. looks pretty nice. And go back, look at our our draft entries, put these back to publish. There you go. And just reset back to basic. Uh, also, we have um, a couple new f up changes to field types. Let's see, let's go to an entry that has a markdown field. There we go, here's a markdown field. Markdown field has a new dark mode, which is pretty nice. And like, there's a whole bunch of small little things all over the place. Like we moved the pin to favorite link down here so we don't have this tab switcher. Uh, there's just like a lot more consistent button styles, uh, hover states, um, updater widget, and a bunch of other things. So feel free to check it out at staticmic.dev and we'll be back for beta 21.